Hi, Dr. Dave here to look at the best brake shots of all time. First, FYI, lots of useful brake technique advice can be found via the links in the video description. Be sure to check them out if you want to improve your brake effectiveness and consistency. For each game, before showing the best brakes, I will first show typical brake strategy along with where each ball should head with an ideal brake. With a standard 9-ball side break, the main goal is to pocket the wing ball and get a look at the 1 after the break. The second row ball sometimes banks cross-side, and the back ball sometimes banks straight back. Here, Jeffrey DeLuna pockets 5 balls on the break. Watch the action of the cue ball. Great action on that cue ball. Oh, look at this break. What's a break. Did you notice that the expected balls went in as diagrammed? Watch the action of the cue ball. Great action on that cue ball. Oh. He didn't get a look at the two, but that was still an awesome break. Here, Alex Pagulayan pockets six balls. He's won the leg, and that will give him the right to break the final game. Look at this break. Look at this break. Unfortunately, he leaves the cue ball bad on the seven and misses. Usually, awesome breaks like these work out better. Here's Jeffrey DeLuna again, making six balls on the break and getting a perfect look at the four for the runout. But the monster power he uses doesn't always work out well. This week, but object wall as well. Ooh, look at that. All over the place. Oh, yeah. Here's a good power break by Billy Thorpe, where he pockets five balls, including the nine, for a golden break win. Hey, hey, the golden break, as they say. Shane Van Boning is one of the best breakers in the world in terms of good and consistent results. Here, with the nine on the spot and breaking from the box, the best approach is to use a cut break to pocket the one in the side. He also controls the cue ball to carry him into the nine, giving him a chance for a golden break win. Either in the corner or in the side, this time by Sanchez Ruiz. The downside of caroming into the 9 is you can also scratch. Did you notice how both brakes were close to scratching? Like Jeffrey DeLuna, Russian Evgeny Stalev also has a monster brake. He wings that back arm. Powerful brake. He didn't control the cue ball very well, and he only made one ball, but the balls sure are moving a lot. Again, raw power doesn't always give good results. It is usually better to use a more controlled speed to park the cue ball in the center of the table with a better chance for a shot after the break. Corey Duell is one of the most creative breakers in the world. He has invented and perfected several unique braking strategies, including the soft brake approach. He pockets the wing ball and leaves an easy starting shot at the one on the side and the two in the corner, leaving an easy 3-9 combo for the early win. Here's an example from another tournament where he did the same thing. With a good rack and a little practice, this can also easily be done on a 9-foot table. In Vent, the video encyclopedia of 9-ball and 10-ball, Bob Jewett and I were able to get the technique to work fairly consistently. But pattern racking like this, with the 2 and 3 placed in the same positions with every rack, is illegal, according to the WPA official rules of pool. Some tournaments might not enforce this, and some players and refs are unaware of the strategy, but it really should not be allowed. Hopefully, this and other videos will help make more people aware. With 10 ball, there are many balls that can be made on the break, as shown here. The most reliable are the second row balls in the side pockets. Here's a good example of an almost perfectly symmetric break from the center by Corey Duell, where both balls go. Here's a break by Shane Van Boning, where five of the six expected balls go. Brilliantly in his first match. Now, he took a lot of velocity off of that break, Danny. Look, he Look how he how controlled the white. Look how many balls he popped. Five balls on the break. And here's another where he makes six.
Here's a powerful example by Jeffrey DeLuna making five balls. Here, Jeffrey Ignacio shows that you don't need lots of power, just an accurate hit, to pocket lots of balls, in this case six of the ten. Ten ball is too easy for the pros when they break well like this. The standard eight ball break is very similar to the ten ball break, breaking from near the center, attempting to pocket the second row balls in the sides. As with ten ball, the corner balls also tend to go four rails to the bottom corners. Here are some examples from my recent 8-ball runout advice video. Here, Torsten Holman pockets 5 balls on the break. Another 8-ball break approach is the second ball break. The main goal is to pocket the far corner ball. With a good rack, it goes every time on a bar box. Also, the 8 usually moves, and often toward the side pocket. If playing under rules where the 8 on the break wins, the second ball break is a good approach. Here, Corey Duell pockets the corner ball as expected, and also sends the 8 close to the side. If you watch Corey rack during this tournament, it is clear he is carefully placing the balls in a certain pattern. Again, pattern racking like this is not legal under the official rules of pool, but some tournaments, refs, and players fail to enforce the rule. Here is the ball pattern Corey was using. With this pattern, using a slow to medium speed second ball break, the solid spread up table, and the stripes stay clustered down table. Here's an example. This makes it easy for you to run the solids and difficult for your opponent to run the stripes. This is a deadly tactic. Obviously, it works only if the racked balls are tight. For example, using a racking template with new balls. So you can reliably pocket the corner ball and have a shot after the break. Here, Corey switches the stripes and solids to mix things up a little, but the approach is the same. Here's another. Isn't it amazing how well this approach works? Too bad it's illegal under standard rules. Again, if you want advice for how to get a tight rack or to learn better break strategy and technique, see the links in the video description. Also linked are the original source videos from which excerpts were used in this video. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave. Thank you.